can you gain muscle while dieting? And I, along with many others, uh, for a long time said that the answer to this was no. To build muscle, eat in a caloric surplus. To lose fat, eat in a caloric deficit. One cannot be in a surplus and deficit simultaneously. So there actually is research to show that yes, you can lose body fat and gain muscle at the same time. Now, it's in specific circumstances. There's um, one is you're new to training, okay? So there was a study done by Dr. Stu Phillips uh, recently where they took untrained men, they were physically active but not resistance trained. They had them resistance train and either eat a higher protein diet or lower protein diet. And the group on the high protein diet that resistance train actually gained a little bit of lean body mass because the training response to somebody who is new is so powerful. I think it was like a, a kilo of lean body mass or a ki one or two kilos of lean body mass over the course of uh, a few months. So now another situation where you could gain muscle mass while, uh, while losing fat is if you're very, very overweight, if you're very obese. So if you had 30, 40% body fat, you've got all this you know, stored uh, source of calories. And there's even research to show that people who are very obese can go, uh, I think one particular individual went almost like a whole year without eating. There was a case study where this really obese person went like, I think it was almost a whole year without eating. Now he, he did lose lean body mass, but the point was there is studies that show that people who are obese, who resistance train and diet still gain lean body mass while dieting. While dieting is obviously if you're on anabolic steroids or some kind of other illicit anabolic agent. Again, stimulus that it's gonna override and kind of partition those calories that you're eat consuming more towards muscle building. Uh, there's a lot of uh, professional bodybuilders, professional untested bodybuilders who say, oh yeah, like I actually, um, I grow into a show, right? Well, I don't wanna speak for everybody in particularly, but I know that based on some of the uh, competitors I've talked to who compete in the untested organizations, uh, a lot of times what they do is they completely will go off um, drugs or they will go to kind of a, a minimal level of drugs during the off season. So it makes sense that they could be dieting, losing body fat and gaining muscle because that's when they're really kind of blasting themselves. Now, I don't recommend this. <laughs> it's not what I do. Uh, but mostly what, what I would see a lot of happening is people who are new to training who are also obese they tend to gain quite a bit of weight, uh, or sorry, quite a bit of muscle while dieting. And this is why uh, for those of us who are natural uh, and advanced trainers who have been doing this for a while, who are not obese, um, you're not going to build muscle while dieting. In fact, you're probably gonna lose muscle while dieting. In fact, I just got done taking a look at all the uh, natural bodybuilding case studies in existence. And what they show is, so if you lost 10 kilos, about three kilos is gonna be lean body mass. Now, a lot of people will look at that and go, oh my God, you're, I'm gonna lose three kilos of muscle? Lean body mass is not the same thing as muscle, okay? Lean body mass encompasses all non-fat tissues. So that includes, but not limited to, bone, skin, hair, <laughs> like, uh, organ weights, heart, you know, everything, and literally everything that's not fat. Now muscle, skeletal muscle is a big component of that, right? But it's not the only component of that. And also a big component of lean body mass is water mass. Two thirds of that is water because lean body mass is about two thirds fluid, okay? So you can lose quite a bit of water and tissue from things that aren't muscle. Probably, did you maintain your relative strength? And you could do like a Wilkes calculation to, to examine this. Um, but if you maintained your relative strength, you can be relatively confident that you didn't lose much muscle.